one of the most powerful open source model that is available today is Falcon. So in this video, we're going to combine Falcon and Langchain because Langchain helps you do a lot of things with LLMs and mostly people have been using Langchain with proprietary LLMs like OpenAI. So what I'm trying to do here is to tell you how you can use Langchain with one of the most powerful open source models, Falcon, to do basic text generation. In this video, we are not going to cover something like an embedding or chart with PDF, but we're going to just look at simple Langchain connection with the open source LLM Falcon and also do certain text generation using prompt templates from Langchain. But we can develop this code, the basic code that I'm going to share with you to do something like chat with PDF and all these kind of things later on. But to start with, one of the happiest news is that this entire code actually runs on a free Google Colab notebook, which means we're going to find out that the memory, as you can see here, the entire GPU memory is almost used. And one of the reason I'm showing you this is because thank goodness that it can actually work on free Google Colab. So you don't have to spin up another powerful GPU for this. So good the T4 machine with the 16 gig RAM is actually quite fine for this Falcon model, 7 billion parameter model to work. I'm not going to get into the detail of Falcon model in itself. We have already two videos, one explaining the Falcon announcement, second one, how to use the Falcon 7 billion model on Google Colab Notebook. So I would strongly encourage you to check out both the videos. This is going to be purely a hands-on coding tutorial about using Falcon with Langchain. To start with, this is a GPU environment. So go to runtime, click change runtime, and you can see that we are on Python 3, GPU hardware accelerator and T4 machine. If you have got Collab Pro, you can select powerful GPUs, but for our use case, a T4 machine is completely fine. Now do a pip install transformers, of course, to use a hugging face transformers to get the models. Anops is a dependency. Accelerate is for faster acceleration. Um, it also helps you manage resources in such a way that some bit of GPU memory would be used, some bit of CPU memory would be used and a lot of other advantages. Langchain, of course, Langchain doesn't need any introduction. Bits and bytes, I was exploring how to load the int8 model or uh, you know the quantized model to use with Falcon, but you don't need this. For particularly this tutorial, you don't need this. After you make all the installation, the next one is to just to look at the GPU configuration. This is a Tesla T4 machine and we have got like 15 gig approximately RAM and that is what we are going to use. So this is a decent enough GPU for us to use this. This is from the free Google Colab. The next thing is we need to import certain libraries that we want to use. From Langchain, import Hugging Face Pipeline because we are going to use Pipeline. From Transformers, import Auto Tokenizer and also Pipeline and import torch again not required for this particular piece uh, the only thing is for the data type but you can import so these are the three imports that are required we're not going to do anything else with the pytorch here so these are the three imports once again langchain is where we're going to use the llm connection to build ai applications transformers is a library from hugging face that helps us connect with open source models that are available in hugging face model up and the pipeline is the easiest way to build any NLP task using Hugging Face Transformers. Now specify the model here. Uh, I've mentioned the 40 billion models link. Right now I'm using on a very smaller C GPU with a limited memory and that's why I'm using the 7 billion instruct model. If you want to use or if you have a powerful enough GPU like A100 or even bigger than that, then you can try this model. But for now, we are going to stick with 7 billion parameter model because that's what works on the free Google Colab environment. The model is specified. It's just simply a string, nothing more than that. But from that string, we are going to get the tokenizer first, and then we are going to build a pipeline. So these are certain parameters that like the mandatory parameters are, you have to specify the task of the pipeline. What is the task? So for example, do you want to do text classification? Do you want to do text generation? Do you want to do, uh, let's say audio classification, all those kind of things go inside this pipeline. Now, what is the model? The model is something that we have already specified here. And what is the tokenizer? The tokenizer is something that we have already downloaded. And are you trying to use it in, let's say, FP16? So this is where you specify the data type in itself. And because this model is not yet part of the main code transformers, so you need to enable trust remote code is equal to true. And device map is equal to auto is what I mentioned, that sometimes it tries to map match and manage the memory between CPU and GPU memory. As you can see, 
we have got a GP, uh, CPU RAM of 12 gig and a GPU RAM of 15 gig. So device map auto helps you do that and that comes from Accelerate. And then these are certain things like, you know, how much is the output token that you want to specify the limit. So these are certain things that you can give here or also I'll show you another place where you can give. So it's if you want to give as part of pipeline, well and good. But if you also want to, you must be kidding me. They just disconnected. But for this tutorial, I don't have to rerun any code. So this is completely fine. So this is something that you can give here, but also in another place, which I'll just quickly show you. After you run this thing, it's going to take a bit of time because it downloads the model and does everything. So after this is done, now is the place where we are going to specify the LLM for lang chain. So that comes from hugging face pipeline, which we just imported from blank chain. And inside that hugging face pipeline, we are going to just send the entire pipeline that we just created with model quarks. So model quarks is where you are going to give the model related parameters like temperature is zero and all the kind of details that this information, the max length and all the top K, all the model parameters can also go inside this. So you can give model quarks here. But also if you want to give, you can give here. So the advantage, if you ask me, what is the advantage? The advantage is this is like more abstracted. It's easier for you to play with this. If you give this thing, it's part of the model downloading process. So any change that you have to make here, you have to redo the entire thing again. So it's, it's, uh, it's not very healthy. So that's why I mentioned the temperature zero here. So temperature zero is just to make sure that the model doesn't hallucinate much. Pipeline, pipeline, model quarks, temperature and all the details. Now I'm going to give that main thing from blank chain import prompt template. So one of the thing is you can directly go here and just give the question. Like for example, you can give the question, what is the capital of India? Something like this. You can just directly do this. But one of the reason why people use models like blank chain is to do beyond that. So that's why I'm not covering this. You can do that as well, but from blank chain import prompt template and import LLM chain. Now the prompt template is where you actually set the context and the template about how that large language model should handle this particular case. So for example, I've said you are an intelligent chatbot, help the following question with brilliant answers. The question is this answer is this. So you can say like this, or you can say this is the user and it answers. So you can play with these things, but I just wanted to tell you that prompt template is something where you can play with like, how do you want to give the input response? How do you want to get the output response and all these kind of things. And once you have the prompt template, which is just a simple F string, the next thing, or doc, sorry, doc string, the next thing is you give the prompt and inside it, get it from prompt template, the template in itself. And what is that input variable that goes inside? The input variable here is a question. The question is an input variable. And that input variable is what you're going to give through the prompt in itself. And that's what it's saying input variable is question. Now LLM chain is where you define the LLM chain and the prompt is the prompt and LLM is the LLM. Typically people use OpenAI LLM, but we are using Falcon as an LLM here. Falcon 7 billion instruct model as an LLM here. Now you can ask the question. The question here is that explain what is the, what is artificial intelligence as a nursery rhymes and you print the output and this is what the response is. Let me read the response. AI is like the sun that shines, bringing happiness and knowledge to everyone. It helps us in many ways from finding answers to complex questions. AI can do amazing things that we can't even imagine it. AI is like a powerful tool that helps us solve any riddle. It can even predict the future based on current situations and trends. AI is here to stay and will be an essential element in our lives, providing a better tomorrow and even an, an even brighter future. And you can see that it ends this with the user prompt because we gave the context that it is an intelligent chatbot. That's why it's trying to do like this. But this is the entire gist of how you connect Falcon 7 billion instruct model with the lang chain using lang chain hugging face pipeline. Now the entire thing is happening in free collab and you can just keep on changing the question. You can have multiple questions and lang chain can help you deal with different, um, different answers and Another thing, as I said, we are using Langchain primarily because we want to play with a lot of different things. We want to connect with a lot of different agents. So use the prompt template to check how to use different prompt template to get the best out of this LLM. Let me know in the comment section if you found out anything interesting from the template prompt template in itself. But otherwise, 
this code is completely open source i'm going to share this google collab notebook in the youtube description so all you have to do is go to the youtube description just below the like button click the notebook come here just make sure that first you connect here and then just select run all that will run everything you don't have to touch anything and after you run everything come here play with the prompt template make sure you doesn't delete the question because this is the part from where the question gets fed in and then play with the question here that should ideally give you whatever that you want to play with or whatever you want to use the falcon 7 billion param uh, falcon 7 billion model with langchain my next tutorial most likely is building a QA and a grady application using langchain but meanwhile if you have any other request feel free to let me know in the comment section share this video with your friends if you like it let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope this was helpful to you peace happy prompting